Yeah. You yeah, are a machine to produce some pieces. What can you tell me what each machine does? Uh, the, the, the left needs to make something wrong, uh, like a screw, axes, uh, pins, uh, rivets. Rivets. A lot of rivets. <laughs> this machine has done a lot yeah, of yeah, rivets. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And time. particularly this one, I, I, I used less now because it is not a ball bearing, it's bearing, basic bearing. Can you replace it? Yes, it, it's possible, but uh, I, I, I use so much than now. You have a little play and I don't have time to repair. fix it mm -hmm. or to repair. And now I use this one with ball bearing or this one. Okay. And uh, and also now I have a big stock of uh, rivets. It's uh, it's, so it's, uh, okay. it's enough. And I have another machine. What uh, is this? <laughs> yeah. I a big that. machine, uh, but only to give the time, but not. Uh, this whole thing just to give the time. Yeah, yeah. Give it the time and give the strike. Quarter hours. Does and it work? Yeah, yeah, it's still working, but uh, I put here to organize for the pulley, pulley yeah. to make a way, to put yeah. weight, yeah. and to start again. Ah, and, okay, uh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, so because it works, it works but only with, uh, yeah. only with the weight. Okay, okay, okay. okay. And, uh, but uh, I have a big stock, yeah. but it's nice also to have maybe one working. Yeah. Yeah. It's always nice yeah. with a big machine for a small day. <laughs> and um, as a big space. Ah uh, yes. D do you want to sit down somewhere and then? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Anywhere, just. Yeah, there maybe. Yeah. One sit here. Yeah. It's okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm okay. So, this is the deep space. Yeah, the last one. The last, so this is the final creation that you've made. Yeah. So, apart from the antique one, the deep space, do you have any of your other watches in here? Do you have any other watch here besides the antique one that we, sh that we showed and the deep space? Antiqua, uh, yes, I have, um, I have an, uh, a classic janvier. Wow. Yeah. Because wow. I, I need <laughs> classic needs to uh, needs uh, services. <coughs> classic janvier and Antiqua, two different tools. So let's let's start with this one, uh, the deep space. As long as we're still talking about like yeah. space and space also with that space also with that, yeah. but uh, in a different kind of yeah. uh, twist. Yeah, and uh, different uh, mind uh, vision of space. So this is space as as defined by humans. Yeah, and conception of vision from uh, human vision. Yeah. But it this is. it's an um, concept. It's not a conception, but it's an uh, other uh, connection with yeah. space. Yeah. Because it's Can an. Uh, a little bit closer. Yeah. 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 Oh, perfect. perfect. Okay. So, tell me all about it. First, what what is the retail price for today? Uh, for uh, this watch in titanium, uh, it's at two hundred and thirty thousand. Yep. Uh, Swiss franc. And uh, and today I check uh, it's uh, one one for the dollar US yeah, so dollar. Exactly. It's all, today it's exactly the same. And uh, at the end is the same price in dollar uh, Swiss franc. But um, for a trip axis trip axis tourbillon, yeah. at the end it's Okay, two hundred and thirty thousand. It's a lot of money. Yeah, but uh, <laughs> for a complication like this, yeah. is uh, I think the cheapest uh, complication for a triple axis tourbillon. Yeah, and, and it's uh, a best value for money for a triple axis tourbillon. Yeah, yeah, and uh, but also uh, the price now it's not 
connected with the way to sell. Yeah. At the beginning, I work with some retailers. Yeah. And the march from the retailer is too big for me and yeah. for my work. And at the end, now I'm selling uh, my, uh, my production directly to the customer. Yeah. And at the end, my price is close to the value, the real value of the watch, not with the retail march. Yeah. And uh, it's why it was possible to to give a price like 230 because I, I, I reduce the classic price you find on the market from the, from the March. And uh, maybe if I wanted to sell it uh, through the shop, yeah. the price would be uh, closer to 400, mm -hmm. maybe 350 or mm -hmm. something else. Mm -hmm. but why to give a price too high yeah. if you compare with the value of the piece yeah. and maybe to give a discount to the customer um, this for me is this this way is a, is a, is a, is a lie uh, yeah, it's a bit you, sneaky yeah it's, it, the value is here yeah. The price with the small margin, I take a margin to well, obviously to try to, 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 to build the plane and to yeah, be yeah, like yeah, for, <laughs> example, for example, for yeah. example. But uh, yeah, but you need to pay for the place as well, right? Yeah, and uh, I, I don't have a nice and top place. I don't have a very uh, uh, modern factory with mm. uh, everybody with a cap on the, uh, <laughs> on the head and, uh, and the mask on the head and the face. And, and at the end, it's why the price, if you compare with the same uh, complication yeah. on the market, I'm quite uh, very... Um, uh, very sure. Yeah, I, I'm in a nice position. Yeah, and uh, and it's why also when customer ask for a discount, uh, I don't want to give a discount because my discount it's uh, I apply the discount before. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, I don't want to say oh it's three hundred thousand, but I I will sell you uh, two hundred. 20 or 230 yeah. uh, oh yeah I'm happy no the price is 230 yeah that's it yeah that's it and uh, and at the end if some customer doesn't understand it's not my problem mm -hmm. I have enough work and I don't want to grow uh, yeah. like a big factory or, so, so it's not how my many, target how many watches are you producing today? Uh, from the beginning from 98 no uh, like let's say for the last two years Ah, for this the last year two years, le year. less than less than thirty pieces. Less than thirty. Yeah, mm. for the last two years. Uh, uh, la last year, I produced maybe uh, sixteen or seventeen, and this year in sixteen or seventeen watches. Watches, yeah. What were they? It was um, uh, ten or eleven deep space. Mm -hmm. Uh, two Antiqua, mm -hmm. two Trio. Okay. Um, I made also um, uh, a piece based on the classic mm -hmm. because I I had some bo uh, case and yeah. I changed uh, something for dials and for uh, some device and uh, which watch and i made the last year i made one uh, satellarium wow yeah the last uh, case i had uh, i have always wanted to see that watch uh, it's very rare yeah i made only three now only three yeah and uh, one uh, a very it's an expensive watch right? yeah yeah i sold more than three hundred thousand three hundred thousand yeah in platinum and I, I had the case for more. more than 10 years. What does the satellarium have? Because I've tried looking for pictures of it online and I never... It's I very rare. You find some time on the internet. Yeah. But now it's more and more um, 
hide by yeah. the quantity by of the new information. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, I, I made one for a uh, for, uh, gold file yeah, gold in file. 2001. Yeah. And the second one I made, uh, I think, in 2008, maybe, or uh, yeah, maybe uh, 2008 or 2009. Mm -hmm. And the last one uh, last year. That's it. You only made three cases. Yeah, because I I had three cases mm -hmm. and three cases and uh, and my best customer from Germany, uh, my very good customer from Germany, uh, uh, five years ago asked me about this piece, and I worked a little bit, a little bit slowly, and I I uh, delivered it uh, last year. Yeah. Uh, heavy work. I can imagine. Yeah. What are the complications in the satellarium? Uh, the first one was with a uh, thermometer. Yeah. Uh, the second one with uh, was with um, with a moon phase. Mm -hmm. And the watch I made for my customer was with some uh, um, planetary device, not a planetarium, but planetary device to say the. Um, to say the um, age and the position of the Mars, oh. uh, March, uh, Mars, 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 the planet, Mars, Mars. The planet, and Venus, and Venus, oh. yeah, oh. and to give another way, uh, and to know also sometimes the evening or the night, okay, uh, the night. ah, yeah, it's yeah. Mars. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> what is close to the moon? Ah, it's Mars. Yeah, mm. it's, uh, yeah. <laughs> interesting. That's cool. Yeah. <laughs> well, coming back to space. Um, so tell me, you say you told me that two hundred and thirty thousand is is the is the correct price of this watch. Tell yeah. me, what do you get for two hundred and thirty thousand? Do you get a Triple access tourbillon. Yeah, in uh, uh, in in the middle of the dial. In the middle of the dial. And, and in the middle floating. of the of the case also. Yeah, in the middle of the case yeah. as well. Yeah, yeah, it's floating. And uh, very there, big at the end. Crystal. Yeah. And so so to tell the hours and the minutes, you've got. Um, yeah, you have hour. hour yeah, hour, it's yeah. Uh, seven. Yeah. Twenty eight. Eight. Yeah. So could you just show everybody like if you uh, pull the crown out yeah, and try to, to set it. the time yeah, yeah, or yeah. how the time is working? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's it. Yeah. Almost as if because we're used to seeing time, um, uh, the hour and the minute hands um, axis or pinned to the middle. Uh, but here it looks like it's floating. It's actually so, like it's it's indexed to, to this, yeah. to this, to this part, to this ring. Yeah. But it it looks to us because you know we're we're always used to seeing two hands, you know. So we think it's supposed to be held in the middle, in the, exactly. Yeah, so but it I, looks like it's floating. Yeah, because I I wanted to avoid uh, a connection in the center of the watch yeah. uh, with the hand. Uh, the hands because uh, I wanted to save the maximum uh, is a space mm -hmm. for the three axes mm -hmm. only that in the middle of the watch and I organized the construction to uh, to show the time from outside and it's why the index it's coming from outside the dial yeah and the, the basic um, conception and philosophical way uh, is to have in the center of the watch the explanation of our understanding of our world mm -hmm. for dimensions. Three physical dimensions explained by the three physical axes for three dimensions. And around that, like us, around us, the time coming from nowhere because the time is not, you don't have direction for the time. That is really is, cool. The time is here. <laughs> and, uh, and after that, the, the, the dimension in the middle of the watch exists 
by the time around. And it was a basic um, uh, architecture of the, of the watch and I adapted my, uh, my uh, construction to get this architecture. Mm. The dimension with the time around. And I adapted the time around uh, at the uh, human conception of our time and divided by uh, second minute minutes and yeah. hours. But uh, it's quite an accessory. At the beginning, it's more a watch to, to dream and a watch to remember we are, uh, at the end, we are on Earth uh, in the solar system, mm -hmm. in this galaxy, in our universe, where our uh, conception or our uh, uh, feeling is only four dimension, four dimensions. Maybe in other place mm. you will find more. Yeah, well, we, we never you, know. You, yeah. you don't know. But now the sci scientists imagine, they imagine more dimension the, than only four. I think they imagined 11, I think. Yeah, uh, a lot. And 11, it, it's, 12, why, somewhere there. it's why I wanted to, uh, to, to, to make a piece like a device. Mm. Yeah. Uh, you, keep, you keep it on your wrist to travel. Yeah. And if you land in a place where you have a lot of dimensions, it's possible through the device to remember what was your condition at the beginning so, so, in your port, so in your arbor. So <laughs> <laughs> that is great. So you're telling me if by chance I go into uh, a different galaxy, a yeah. different world where there are aliens and other dimensions yeah. and space-time is completely different. Yeah. I show them this on my wrist and they'll kind of get an idea of what kind of world I came from. Yeah, before for you yourself exactly. to remember because after uh, before, you, you lose... Before showing them, yeah. it's just for me to, to look before at... Before for you yeah, to, to remember, remember what it was okay. that. Nice. And after to show the others, yeah. other spaces, other yeah. intelligence, yeah, 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 to yeah. explain how, my condition at my orbo was yeah, that. Was this. Yeah. Because, three dimensions. Yeah, three dimensions, uh, yeah. four dimensions. Wow. The three basic dimensions and time. Yeah. And here, maybe we have a liquid or a strange other dimensions. Yeah. And uh, it's more. And maybe you change your perception and you forget what you what you were uh, what you yeah what you were what Correct. you were yeah. at the beginning yeah but yeah. with the uh, but with it, with it's this one, it's yeah, yeah no 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 no, 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 no I get it, you. it's like uh, the the antiqua yeah. at the beginning yeah. the antiqua it was one uh, explanation of what fascinated me the marine chronometer Do we still have the antiqua the antiqua it's uh, I don't know uh, I moved into the... Ah, okay. Ah, maybe... Here. No. I forget. <laughs> okay. Well, it's okay. It's uh, okay. I forget. Uh, we... and, and, uh, they, they, they've seen it. They know what it looks like by now. The, the Antiqua, it's the link with the marine chronometer. And yeah. what was the marine chronometer? Yeah. It was a device, scientific instrument, to keep the time from your uh, uh, deeper uh, yeah from your deeper port yeah, yeah 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 the the origin yeah. to remember because after you travel the time change yeah and if you don't have a device it's impossible to remember and this is why i have my watch set on uh dubai time actually it's 10 yeah. 30 there <laughs> <laughs> i just i just i just wanted to show that i i believe in this in this yeah and and, this it, idea. and it, it, at the end, the, the marine chronometer was the reference from the past for our ancestors to mm -hmm. discover the world. Mm -hmm. For me, the deep space, it's the opposite. Yeah. In the future, what I can imagine, a tool to remember if I'm lost very far in, outside the galaxy yeah. and with another uh, environment. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's quite a science fiction uh, also, In but I explained yeah. that through the watch. Somebody's 
uh, uh, or, uh, uh, explain through some words yeah. in a book, science yeah. fiction book, or in a comics with drawing. That my way to share that and to explain it to make watches. That's very nicely said. So, can you tell me, is there any interesting stories about this watch? Because when we were talking about the uh, Antiqua, you told me how difficult it was to make the dial and how difficult it was to yeah. um, do the rivets. I noticed that this one is actually one of the watches that has very few rivets. Um, yeah, to remember also uh, the origin. The DNA at the end is not so far from the from the Antiqua. Yeah. Uh, even the logs, the logs. It's one uh, interpretation of our ancestor, maybe uh, one million years ago or yeah. uh, ten million years ago, and how what we are now. And between the Antiqua and this one, you find. Uh, some details like the round cover you will find on the logs of the Antiqua, the, the shape outside of the logs. Yeah. And it's, I started from the logs of the Antiqua and I changed the shape for a not more futuristic, but evolution shape. And the crown, it's one. I don't know, but uh, it's one uh, heritage of that. Yeah. Like we have some hair still, yeah. uh, because we came from the monkey, and uh, and monkey follow another way, and yeah. we got another way. Yeah. But we have in the DNA mm -hmm. some mark of that. And at the end, well, for me, the watch 90 too. Ninety something percent of our DNA. Oh, maybe, yeah. maybe less than one percent, or but something. It's still here. Yeah, yeah. How yeah, origin? Yeah, 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 yeah. And for the for the deep space and the antiqua, it's the same. Yeah. And also, the at the end, um, the quality of uh, my uh, for my work for uh, the bridges for the for the. Um, uh, the how do you say pillars? Pillars, yeah. Pillars. Pillars, uh, screws, uh, wheels. Yeah. All it's made like when the watch making was at the gold age. Okay. With nice finishing angle, uh, um, uh, perfect uh, function, mm -hmm. um, nice balance for the dimensioning of each parts and I realized this watch like I realized the Antiqua at the end with the basic metal yeah. steel brass uh, silver uh, German silver so, silver so so uh, the dial on the Antiqua is always gold or platinum yeah. right what about on the classic was it brass or was it gold? Uh, no, it was the German silver plated. It was German silver plated. Yeah. But what was the base? The base? Yeah, the base of the metal. Ah, okay. German it silver. was German silver, but yeah. it was plated with? Plated. With, with uh, rhodium. Okay, rhodium or plated gold, German silver. Depending or gold the plated color. German silver. Okay. And what about here? Because, I mean, it has no dial, but obviously it does have... Um, the dial is in silver. Exactly. Massive nice silver. Massive. This is this is German silver. No, no, massive silver, pure. Massive. Oh, pure silver. Pure silver. And I I I got uh, silver. Uh, the experiences from the classic Janvier. Yeah. With uh, massive pure si uh, silver. Yeah. Okay. So even to on make the, the same. Even on the Janvier, it's the same thing. Yeah. At the end, it's one link also yeah. with this piece from the past yeah. and this piece from the future. The same material with the same way uh, to realize. Same process. Uh. Classic machine uh, and craft uh, finishing. And uh, at the end, one part of the heritage of the past. So. Coming, coming to that now, I, I, want, I wanted to ask, 
what was in your mind when you made this? How did you come up with the idea? What was going through your mind? Because you told me with the with Antiqua, it was like you had some free time. You were yeah. influenced by space, <laughs> by by steampunk. Yeah, and you wanted to make something contemporary. Lots of rivets. It's a, it's a completely an opposite way to create and to imagine this watch. Uh -huh. I, uh, the Antiqua was one uh, conscious conscious ref, conscious uh, reflection when I was. Uh, okay. Um, réveillé, wake, wake yeah, up. When, yeah, when you had a uh, revelation. Yeah. Eureka. But, yeah, and, and yeah. also I was sit on the table mm -hmm. and I drew the watch. Because... So, so did it come to you in a dream or did you just... Yeah, you it were was, just thinking it, it about was, it and... Uh, uh, the Antiqua was more an um, um, interpretation of a lot of things mm -hmm. who inspire my career and my way to to make watchmaking or to make watches mm -hmm. and at the end it's one cross way yeah. to share what I was uh, my skill at this time yeah. but for this one it was quite different because I dream the watch I, the, I saw the watch and I, uh, the conception of the watch was all made during my sleeping time not when I was awake. Uh, awake. So, so you were sleeping and you saw the watch and you saw the movement pieces and everything. Everything. It fell into place and you said, I have to make this. Yeah. You woke up. But at the beginning it was difficult because uh -huh. when I wake up, yeah. I forgot immediately. Ah. It's the problem with the dream. Mm. You dream something nice, yeah. you wake up and oh, it's genial. Uh, tip top. I... It's gone. Ah, very quickly. Yeah. And it took more than three, four months to understand when I was uh, dreaming, I was in a dream and uh -huh. I understood that. Yeah. You are in a dream. Now the problem is That's when you will uh, wake dream. up, you will forget. <laughs> but now find a way to keep some some pieces some yeah, element or information or to to catch that very deeply so maybe what you saw in the dream was something else maybe it wasn't this yeah <laughs> maybe <laughs> but the bits and but pieces <laughs> you wake up yeah and i look for my oh I, uh, it was only in my dream <laughs> this bad bad way and um and um I think the, the, the vision of the watch came before uh, because I watched uh, the Star Trek series uh, called the Deep Space Nine. No. And uh, it okay. was seven years of production, uh, 109, closed 190 episodes. That's a lot. And uh, I, sh I, sh I, showed, I showed that in uh, six months. It's quite minimum three episodes a day. So at least an hour a day you spend. Yeah, uh, an uh, hour now. and a half more because each uh, each episode was f more than forty five minutes, maybe fifty minutes. Okay. Then uh, at the end it was uh, uh, quite long, and also I slept a lot during this time, mm. more than twelve hours a day, mm -hmm. sometimes fifteen okay. hours. Okay, a day. so I can I can see where that would. That would come from. And at the end, I watch one big part of my uh, wake, wake, top, uh, wake up uh, time, yeah. uh, the science fiction series. Yeah. And after I went to sleep with yeah, that. Saw, yeah, yeah, yeah. Every day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. at the end, it was uh, my dream was inside the series. And I saw some other uh, episode. Yeah. Uh, you never know, yeah. and you never seen, uh, yeah, never seen yeah, before. Yeah, 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 yeah. It was only one yeah. for this time, and inside that, I saw. I remember I saw a an, um, an, uh, big instrument. Big. It was always far, far away. from me, far away, but it was big with a big dome mm -hmm. uh, to protect it. 
and more and more it was possible to get, get closer, closer every day every day but Still with fun. this way the device was smaller and smaller oh. more i was close yeah more it was small, small. until at the end he, he got the dimension of an uh, uh, airplane instrument mm -hmm. like on the uh, yeah on a dashboard of a yeah, plane the, yeah not so big yeah and uh, after the, some some tr uh, training yeah. it was possible to come back with some details the, the basic shape uh, after basic shape some details for the dials for the for the mechanical part in the middle and it was possible to start to draw on the paper and after to draw on the computer and after one year uh, the drawing was quite finish but from the dream and sometime when i ask my colleague to uh, for the for the different wheels for this place he said oh yeah but uh, the wheels for the demissioning it's not nice uh, it's difficult to adapt mm -hmm. uh, i said uh, him okay okay um, i wait for tomorrow i yeah, will I'll go sleep. to sleep <laughs> and i will come back with, uh, with an answer with an answer and did that happen yeah and i remember <laughs> once i went in the dream I take the piece, I check with the microscope the wheels, yeah. I count the teeth of the wheel. You're joking. Yeah. And I wrote that. And when I wake up, I saw my, uh, my uh, colleague and I said, uh, you have 21 for that, uh, 47 for uh, this piece. And he said, but, but it's completely crazy, 21, 47. Yeah, yeah he's that, adapted that on the movement. And now you have this inside. <laughs> <laughs> At the end, I, it's not my creation. I went to my dream to to stall yeah. the piece from another one. I don't know who, but uh... can you? Can you show me what, what are, where are those wheels you're talking about? Are they, uh, uh, are the, they? The, 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 the interesting wheel is this one, the, the gold. Uh, yeah, the golden wheel. Yeah, yeah this yeah. one. And the, 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 another one, it's below. Uh, it, the silver. It's, no, no, uh, below the tourbillon. But when the tourbillon is turned in three minutes, Okay. It will be possible to see it. So, so that, that golden wheel, is that the one with 24 teeth or...? Uh, 27... Uh, 20, no, uh, no, 20... The one from your dream, oh, I mean. Uh, one have 20, uh, 47 yeah. and another one have 21. So which is the wheel that has 21 teeth? Uh, the, the, the wheel be below. And uh, 41, uh, 47 is the golden Is the gold one here. So, so literally... This golden wheel came from your dream. Yeah, completely. <laughs> yeah, that's unreal. Yeah, yeah, and uh, it was it was crazy because I spent <laughs> no energy for that to to have an uh, oh, uh, and the effort was only to go to sleep mm -hmm. and to count in my in in the dream. I count the wheel. Oh yeah, how many it is? Okay. And I don't want it to know why. Yeah. I came with that. I gave the information, and we we started making. Started it. making, and the dimension was very nice, adapted for a nice balance at the end. Wow. You dream and we're in awe. That's amazing. Yeah, when people ask me about oh, well, how you uh, how you have uh, ID, uh, I, always I'm not so uh, my feeling is always not so nice because uh, instinctively I'm uh, I'm uh, not a crook but uh, uh, I I stole the watch mm. from some. Not some somewhere scene. else. Somewhere else, yeah, exactly. Somewhere else, and uh, the antiqua it was completely. It was you. Clear, it was it's 100 me. I drew. I, I drew the watch. Yeah. But uh, 
this one I no I, 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 I imagine the world I imagine oh I stole the watch in the dream and uh, at the end it's, it was not me that's amazing yeah it's why I like to produce it because it's a uh, at the end it's an uh, interesting uh, pieces And also, you, it's very, uh, uh, um, s not soundy. Uh, it's loud. Loud? It's very loud. Yeah, yeah. I like it. It's another way to get a, so a feeling about time which, moving. Sorry, so which is the wheel with 47? Ah, uh, yeah. It's, it's, a small, it's a small one. Uh, in gold also, uh, yellow. The, the first one? one, yeah, the, the last one at the top. Okay, okay. Interesting. Yeah, 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 interesting, yeah. 